Hi guys and welcome back to another Transfer Centre video by myself, Bates and 87 We're doing two of these a week at the moment. The transfers are coming in thick and fast but drying up on a lot of the big players. But some uh, significant news has come out about a few of the players including Zlatan Ibrahimovic and obviously some confirmed big transfers as well which we will go over in a second. So if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes as well, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. Go and check, uh, use discount code B87 to get a bit of a discount offer as well. If you're trying to hit over 5,000 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome and subscribe if you're subscribed already so these videos have become some of my most popular ones on the channel as well so a massive thank you for you guys for watching them supporting them and obviously getting involved in the comments as well so i do like to read your thoughts and uh, obviously comments on what you do think about some of the transfers and even some transfer news which i didn't know about and obviously you guys are using different sources to find out your transfer information so we got 19 players to look at today, guys. Including, I think, maybe three or four transfers which are completed, and a few of them are pretty good for foot. So, we have the first one, guys, and this one, um, as I'm recording this video, is going to be completed in the next couple of hours, and it is Mendy from Marseille to Monaco uh, in that left back position. Will be a nice little transfer for you guys who like Liga 1 teams, and uh, I presume he's going to get a bit of an upgrade from this season to next as well. And this one was from a Twitter account which I have followed, and he's been actually pretty reliable at letting me know, well, not letting me know, letting the general public know about some of the transfers uh, bigger ones which are going to happen from around the European football stage. So Mendy um, looking like this one should be completed in a couple of hours. It could take a few days. We'll have to wait and see but a nice one um, for, for sure for next uh, FIFA, FIFA 17. Next one we've got guys is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now he's obviously come out and stated that nothing's going to be done until after the Euro 2016 has finished. Obviously it was an um, important role of the 1-1 uh, draw um, the other day if you guys did watch that game and Zlatan has apparently agreed terms with Manchester United as we did know already but a, not a lot of news outlets today have actually come out and said it is official now and uh, it's just pending a medical which will happen after the Euros. He looks excited, he looks happy if you guys have seen interviews of him the past couple of days he, he, he loves teasing and obviously if Zlatan's teasing as to which club he's going to go to and the way he does look it looks like it's going to be one of the bigger teams around the world which obviously points directly to Manchester United so United fans get your hopes up, he's coming. Liverpool fans, yeah, we know we know the feeling about that one. Next one we've got is uh, um, Cavani. Obviously, a disappointing uh, Copa America for Uruguay. He knocked out already. Suarez was pissed. And uh, if Jamie Vardy, who is still stalling over his uh, choice to make between Arsenal and Leicester City, even though he's been offered a massive pay day by Leicester, um, it's all down to him. Even Ranieri came out and said today, it's all down to what the player wants. And uh, if he does go to Arsenal, then this one will not exist, which is the Cavani one. And if they don't get Cavani that's uh, sorry if uh Arsenal don't get Jamie Vardy, then they'll turn their attention to Cavani and basically strip PSG of some of the better players, especially attacking ones. And even Verratti, I think this one was a, a 98 million bid from Manchester, oh, it might have been 78, 78 million I think it was, bid from Manchester United to try and pull him from PSG to uh, obviously Manchester United. I wouldn't like to see uh, him at Man United. It is a very good player watching him, uh, both in the Champions League last season and stuff. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. Next one we got is uh, Gokhan Ture. Now, a right midfielder. And uh, obviously, West Ham have come out and signed another left midfielder today, which is Faguli, which we'll cover in a sec. But Hutchinson and Torre seem to be the um, obviously way forward to try and get these players from the Turkish League. Hutchinson, very solid players we covered in the last video, the video before. And uh, obviously, Torre is linked as well as a two prime target. So West time I've got an exciting, well you've seen the transfer um, ripples they've been making uh, in the past couple of weeks. Now Liverpool and this one's been rumoured for a long time, but Liverpool are ready to open the wallets and try and sign Phil Walcott for the region of 25 million, which I think is way overpriced. Um, he's a very fast player. He's still got a few playing years in him, but I don't think he. I think he would be in the same in the same boat as he was at Arsenal, like not getting into into the team and obviously um, a bit of a fringe player. But I, I don't know. A bit of a weird one. Liverpool Arsenal fans, let me know your thoughts on this transfer. This is one of the ones I'm really curious about. Next one we got is Babacan. Now, obviously with Everton. Brand new manager today in uh, Coleman, uh, obviously joining them. And uh, obviously, you guys obviously know what's happening with Lukaku, where he's wanting to move um, to a Champions League club or, or a bigger club than Everton. And uh, it looks like Babacar has be become um, Everton's prime target to replace Lukaku. Bit of a weird one. I don't know much about Babacar. Maybe you guys know a lot more than me, so I'm not going to uh, comment too much on that one. But I thought Everton would have gone for uh, at least a player which was actively known as good. Now, not many people may know about Babaka and I'm definitely one of them. 
Next one we got is Dahoud. So Liverpool have been rumoured to be trying to sign Dahoud for a very, very long time, but it's actually come to the stage now where because Monchon Gladbach have obviously lost Jacker to Arsenal, it's looking like um, Dahoud is obviously going to be uh, delayed by 12 months and uh, no one will be able to sign him for another 12 months. So it's looking like this one is not going to potentially happen, even though I'd love to see Dahoud at Liverpool because he's got so many informed cards on FIFA. Yes, that's what people think my FIFA knowledge is about. But I don't. I, I, I love adding fire to the fuel. Fuel to the fire. Uh, when it comes to transfer rumours. The next one we've got is Eric Lamella into Milan are weighing up an offer to take him from Tottenham back to Serie A. As you guys will remember in FIFA 12 when he played with the Silvers, Lamella was one of them awesome Silvers. Obviously dropped down from a 5-star skiller to a 4-star skiller even though he is definitely, he might actually be a 3-star skiller but he definitely is a 5-star skiller. You've seen the Rabona goals, he scored, everything else like that. He's a very, very decent flair player in the mind trying to bring him in. And the final 10 players of today, guys, we've got Riyad Mahrez, who's been offered a massive payday by Leicester, just like Jamie Vardy has, but it's all down to the player what he wants to do. Now, Manchester United and Chelsea are both heavily linked with bringing him in, and uh, I wouldn't want to see him go to either of them teams, just because I'm a Liverpool fan, as I do point out in every single video. So, Mahrez, all down to him, same as Jamie Vardy, there's been no offers on the table, um, but a lot of people are going to look to um, to break his release clause and obviously make him sign for a, a bigger club than Leicester, even though Leicester City are, the, are obviously the uh, winners and got Champions League football next season. We got. Zelinski. Now, I don't know how to say this guy's name. I'm very difficult. Uh, well, I'm horrendous at name pronunciations anyway, but when it comes to Polish people, I am the worst. And Liverpool put in a 9.5 uh, million euro bid for this guy from, obviously, a team in the Serie A. He's turned down an offer to go to Napoli, and uh, it's looking like he's potentially going to sign for Liverpool. Interesting one. Bit of a youth player as well. I don't know how old he is. Uh, I think he's a little bit of a youth player. Miss seven years young, yeah, it's about 22, isn't it? 22, 23. So, um, an interesting uh, option for Klopp to go for. But obviously, I'm excited to see the uh, youth brought in, and maybe he might be a backup player. But he's already turned down off of, from, like I said, Napoli, and uh, looks like Liverpool are going to be uh, close to getting him. We also have Kostic. Now, this one runs co it coincides with another one, which I'll go over in a second, which obviously is Faguli. Faguli has obviously left Valencia, and uh, it looks like his replacement is going to be Kostic. Now, currently in the Russian league, you guys will have. Is he in the Russian league? I might not even know that one. He might, might actually not be. Um, but Kostic, 93 pace, a very, very fast player, decent ultimate team. That's all I know about him. And uh, a lot of outlets have obviously said he's a very, very good player, very good, loads of potential in him. And uh, he's going to be close to signing for Valencia, uh, which was probably one of the reasons why Faguli was let to go on the free. So next one, obviously, is Faguli, which is signing for West Ham today. You guys will have seen the pictures floating around where um, he's got his shirt outside the Olympic Stadium, which is obviously West Ham's new ground. And uh, a lot of West Ham fans were excited over the prospect of this guy and I quote because he's got a few in farms and you guys will know which YouTuber that was but it's a bit of banter um, so next one we've got is Texera he wasn't released by Liverpool um, like Colo Ture was but he's turned down a, a contract offer from Liverpool and he's signing for Porto soon as well so a little young player um, going to Porto if you guys, and you guys are Portuguese and watch Portuguese League we also have Pjanic confirmed transfer as well signed for Juventus a lot of people including myself are seeing this as a replacement directly for Pogba to because a lot uh, I think Juventus may have given up on the chance for him to be uh, staying with them and moving to uh, a club like Real Madrid, even Manchester United, PSG are all linked. Um but a lot of people did say Pjanic has come in for the uh, injury-prone Marquisio. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the future with this one. Uh, but Pjanic is definitely a, a Juventus player. I've, I've tweeted a picture out of him in a new kit and uh, in the dressing rooms as well. We also have Nelito. Now he's concentrating now on uh, on his career. He's not interested about all the players which are going for him. Manchester City are rumoured to be very, very close to the signing Nelito, but also Barcelona are looking to bring him back into Barca, the Barca ranks. And uh, I'm not really interested. I'm not... I don't know what I'm, where I'd rather see him go. Obviously, he goes to Barca. I'd reckon he'd be a more of a backup player. Um, might be different plans when he goes to Manchester City, but Manchester City are going to have a massive roster of players and a, a, like a superstar bench and reserves, which is going to be absolutely nuts. And uh, the final three players from Titi is very close signing for FC Barcelona. Um French, obviously a perfect link to Matthew if he does stay there, um, but a decent 80 pace defender in La Liga for purposes only, that's the only reason I'm thinking about this one. We got Damien, now even though Damien was offered up the chance, well 
He was a part offer for the Pogba, apparently. So a Pogba cash deal plus Damian. It looks like Juventus are still interested in bringing him back as he didn't really light the uh, Premier League on fire this season. And Juventus want to bring him back and uh, obviously whack him straight into the team there. And the final player, guys, is Laporte. Now, you've seen that he's got, not got another badge. Obviously, a broken leg ruled him out of the Euros. Manchester City have uh, ruled out their interest in him now. And he has signed uh, a new contract up until 2020 uh, with uh, Bill Bowles. So that one's off the table now. Now, and you can look forward to having a French guy in La Liga. So that's been a rundown of all the transfers of today, guys. Um, not much news. It may speed up come the weekend. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but a lot of confirmed transfers in the likes of Pjanic, Faguli. Um, I think the Kostic one isn't far away. And I think neither is the Mendy one. Um, the Eber one's basically all tied up. We just want Eber to say, yes, I'm joining Manchester United. And then that one will be confirmed. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what does happen with some of these transfers. A little bit disappointed on the Dahoud one. But you guys let me know on Babacar. Let me know on Phil Walcott. Let me know your thoughts on... Um Nilito, Faguli, and Pjanic as well. I'm very curious to uh, know your guys' opinions on this one. So like I said, guys, massive thank you for your continued support on these videos. Um, I can't thank you enough. Fatal is coming out later on today, guys, so make sure you do check that out, number, episode number four. And uh, yeah, have a very, very nice rest of your day, guys. Come back to the channel, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already, and we'll be back later on with another video for you guys to enjoy.